So you file a claim with the insurance company, you get a letter a month later, and they denied your claim. Hi, I'm Mike with the Claim Squad Public Adjusters. Is this scene sound familiar to you? It happens often. I get a lot of phone calls. Where does it happen? You know, I get a lot for fire damage where it's been denied, um, roof claims, um, some water damage claims, um, also some mold damage claims. There's a variety and, and cast iron pipe damage claims. So there's a variety of claims that the insurance companies just love to deny. So how do you fight back? What do you do when they deny your claim? Well, it really depends on the claim. So the first step, if you are not being represented by a public adjuster, call a good public adjuster. That's first and foremost. Um, sometimes they can have a discussion and a talk and negotiate with the insurance company to say why there should be coverage, why you should get paid for your claim, why this shouldn't be denied. Um, but let's say your public adjuster fights for you, like I would, and let's say, and this has happened before, um, they do everything they possibly can to build up the case, everything looks great, the public adjuster, like sometimes I have, submitted everything to them and I'm telling my client I can't see how they would not offer you something and then a few weeks later the insurance company says nope we're still denying the claim it happens again I believe in being honest and transparent so what do we do what can we do for you easy they're testing you they're testing you to find out do you have fight in you to carry on move forward with the lawsuit and wait a few months down the road for any type of settlement okay that's what they're doing a lot of times there's different reasons why they deny a claim that doesn't even have to do with your claim let me give you an example I worked for an insurance company before let's say in 2020 the first eight months they paid a heck of a lot of claims we had a lot of tropical storms and hurricanes so any claim that's made in September, October, November, December, there might be a, a company-wide policy that states, do not pay any claims until 2021. Yeah, that's right, you heard me. Do not pay any claims until 2021. Why would they do that? They may be top heavy or early heavy, if you will, on claims they paid at the beginning of the year, and they set aside a certain, I'll just say budget, for the better word for um, everybody to understand budget on what they would pay for claims and let's say that budget's 500 million dollars come august they're at 495 million the alarm goes off we can't pay anymore so then now you're looking at the good deny your claim which has nothing to do whether it's valid it is valid has nothing to do if you deserve to get paid you do deserve to get paid but because of their own mismanagement of funds or payments or whatever the case may be excessive claims they're going to hold off to 2021 so that that's an example sometimes of what happens um, again the other time they just want to see if you're going to fight another thing they want to delay paying you the longer they delay paying you the better it is for them and there's again reasons for that so that's a scenario. Um, but you can fight back. And when you hire a public adjuster like me, I'll work with an attorney. We will brainstorm together. We'll file a lawsuit. There's other things we can file too, which is a civil remedies notice, which puts the insurance company on notice. It's sent to the state that we're also going to file a bad faith claim. A bad faith claim is almost like... Uh, like a punitive type damage claim where there's additional monies that you can get from the insurance company because essentially they didn't treat you the right way. Maybe they denied your claim when they shouldn't have. Okay, Maybe they dropped you after you filed a claim, they dropped you from insurance coverage and you have to go for no new policy. So there's a lot of reasons why filing a civil remedies notice is, is important. Um, if your claim is denied so you work with an attorney and then you unfortunately may have to wait a few months but that's okay 
then you get paid for your claim. So um, th there are ways you can fight a denied claim. I've had other types of claims where it was denied. I was hired. We had a roof claim, several different roof claims. They hired an engineer even. I made counter arguments. I put a little nice settlement package together with pictures of the roof, drone pictures of the roof. And I went back to the insurance company and they said, Mike, you know what? You've got a point here. You, we, we made a mistake. We, we should have paid the claim. And then they get paid. So the most important thing is through all this, when you are denied, do not give up. Hire a good public adjuster to help with your denied claim. I can take a look at it, evaluate it, and tell you whether it's worth moving forward on. Um, but again, don't give up hope. There's always somebody that can help you out there. Uh, worst case scenario, you can, you can always try and renegotiate yourself and go back to the insurance company again yourself and let them deny you a second time um, if the need be. But other than that, call a good public adjuster. Let them help you on your property damage claim. If you have any question about denied claim, I'm Mike with the Claim Squad Public Adjusters, and I hope this video helped you um, in furthering your knowledge of this whole mysterious, intriguing, crazy uh, insurance claim process. Thank you.